Good morning. In this week's Block News, we take a quick look at what's coming in Gutenberg 15. Alan Rickman reads the latest Gutenberg review, and WooCommerce release a brand new product block. Let's get newsy. Time for Block News. It's news about blocks. Gutenberg 15 is coming very soon and the release candidate is now out for you if you want to go and test it. There are lots and lots of improvements coming to the block editor and to site editing. There are two very exciting things. Well, I think they're exciting anyway. The first is a new sticky position. So you can do things like sticky headers and also cool sticky transitions within your pages. And the second exciting thing is that now you can copy block styles from one block to another block. So here is how you can create a sticky header on your site if you're using a block theme. I've gone into the page template here and I'm gonna group this header. It has to be in a group. Now this is somewhat complex because of the way the sticky property works in CSS, but it has to be in a group. And then over here on the right, you click on this little cog here and you'll see a new position sticky just here. What I'm actually gonna do as well is make this group, give it a background color just so we can actually see that this is changing more effectively. So I'm gonna make the whole thing green. Then when I go back to my sample page here and refresh this, we should see now how that top navigation is now stuck to the top because we've applied the new sticky CSS property to it. It's also gonna be possible to copy and paste block styles, which is great. So here we have a column in within my site and I'm gonna add some text to this right-hand column. Let's just add a little bit of text just some gibberish. But what I can actually do if I want to copy this style, I can just actually copy the column itself. So you just go copy block, and then you come to the block you want to uh, apply the style, and you'll see this new option here that says paste styles. This is brand new in Gutenberg 15. Click that, and you'll see how it's just copied the styles across to that new block. There are a host of smaller improvements also coming to Gutenberg 15. For example, you will now be able to resize the edit screen when you're using the site editor, like in this example here. And also you'll have the ability to edit style variations using global styles, like in this example here. So I'm gonna choose a different style variation. And then now you'll see I can actually go into the editor and make changes real time. WooCommerce have just rolled out the beta to their new products block, which is similar to the query loop block if you're used to using that in site editing, but it brings in WooCommerce products and gives you lots of nice controls to change it. So you can actually change the design and do all sorts of cute stuff. I am gonna do a more in-depth tutorial on this in the next few weeks, so subscribe if you wanna see that. But let's have a look at the list view. I've just added it into this page. And you can see over here, these are the blocks that come with it. So it kind of builds this query loop for you, but you can change a lot of this stuff. So I'll show you a few cool things you can do in a minute. But first, let's go and look at the settings on here. So these are the filters that you have over on the right. So you can filter by stock status. Uh, you can also change the number of columns here. You can also filter this down here, it's quite hard to see, but you can filter by taxonomy or by keyword, filtering the products, and that's about it for that. But you can also, if you want to be really cute, you can actually start to edit this. So if we go into the post template, you can see actually this is made up of the product image, the post title, the product price, and the add to cart. But let's say you wanted to change the layout of this, then you can also do that. Sorry, the other thing you can do here is you can also change the number of products that you show in display settings here. So that's how many products you're gonna show per page. So you've got loads of controls to change it, but let me just show you one cute thing you might wanna think about doing if you wanna change the design. So what I'm actually gonna do here is delete the, let's delete the product image, and we're actually gonna replace that by adding under the post template. Let's go insert after. And we're gonna put that within the post template, and we're actually gonna add the cover block in here, which is my favorite block, and we're gonna use that, set that to use the featured image. Then what we can do here actually, Within that, we can actually bring the product price and the add to cart. So we're creating this rather cute uh, card layout just for our WooCommerce products, but we're still using WooCommerce and we're still using the, the main blocks that come with the products block. But we can change all this stuff in here. So if we wanted to change the cover block capacity, we can change all that stuff as well. And there you go, there's my new card layout. So it's really cool because it will give you more control over the standard blocks that come with WooCommerce because you can mold this to however you want this shop page to look. If you subscribe to this channel, you'll know that I like to keep my BDI on the latest Gutenberg reviews, and here they are. As ever, there is a great mixture of very positive and incredibly negative. So we go from five star down here, just love Gutenberg and FSE, to directly above it, catastrophic one star. And as you probably know, if you subscribe to this channel, and if you don't hit subscribe now, every week I also get Alan Rickman through the magic of AI to read the latest one. Red plugin new level. 
I don't understand why they give bad reviews, but Guttenberg is a new word when building a site on WordPress, especially for a beginner like me. Five stars. Thank you, Alan, and thank you for watching this video. If you want to keep up to date with all things Gutenberg and WordPress, hit that subscribe button now. And also, if you can hit that like button now, it would be amazing because it really, 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 really does help spread the word of the channel. And also, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. <laughs>